Okay, we got the 2010 Dodge Journey here, and a couple days ago I went to check the oil, and I pulled the dipstick top right off the machine. I pulled the dipstick handle right off the stick. I broke it off down inside here, and now we have to try to figure out how to best get that thing out of there without pushing it down all the way. Just like disintegrating. Yeah, I don't think so. It's sinking down. Mm -hmm. Nice if you knew how big that thing was. Evidently there's one bolt on here that holds that tube in place and we are going to get to it now and I have the new dipstick here and we are going to um, reuse the tube and just um, insert the new dipstick into this. First thing we're going to do is remove this in this plastic engine cover here just snapped into place give us more room to work okay now we need to find where that bolts at right here there's the bracket and it mounts right underneath there it is a 15 millimeter socket here and I'm locked on and it you can see it's a little bit of an angle. You gotta angle it up to get on that bolt. Here I ended up putting a knuckle extension on here. That really helps with that angle. If you got one, that's kind of the way to go too. Here's what it looks like when you get it out. Again, 15 millimeter is what it is. And now that tube that's the only thing securing that tube, so it should be loose, should be able to pull it out now. Okay, that wasn't much fun. Uh, wiggled it back and forth and back and forth and pulled and then eventually or at the end I just pulled with everything I had. Good thing I had these gloves on, otherwise my hands would be all caught up. But, got it out. Here's what it looks like on the end. It is pretty badly corroded, this tube, but it'll be fine just to throw it back in the way it is. Now we can pop that dipstick out, push her back through, sneak her back through the top, and then insert the new one. That basically took no effort at all just to push on that dipstick from the bottom and the top just popped right out. So now we got her completely out. Here's our new part. I got this one at AutoZone. They had to order it for me in the next day. There's the Dorman replacement part number for the Dodge Journey. I'm not sure what other Dodges take this particular dipstick or what years of the Journey, but there it is yeah I guess it I guess it doesn't make any sense to throw that dipstick in there now better wait till this tube gets inserted stick her back in there I'm gonna get underneath the car here and make sure it's fed into the hole properly and then we'll put our bolt back in here we are underneath the car uh, it's hard to get the right angle and get your arm up in there Thank you. 
Safety goggles, goggles recommended. So I got it started here. And now I'm gonna go up top and twist and push till that rubber seal um, locks into place. All right, got that um, finagled down in place. There's a little bit of a donut, a metal piece at the bottom there. That's got a hit, and then you know you're all the way in. We got her lined up, and now we can put her bolt back in. Okay, I got her tightened up again. That I'll tell you again, that knuckle um, socket really comes in handy for that particular an angle it's up and you got to have the ratchet a little bit over to the right and uh, got that done so now we can throw in our dipstick bingo just like brand new so anyway there you have it uh, dipstick replacement for a 2010 Dodge Journey See ya.